Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 14 of this Tim Hortons. Let's get started. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to create the sheets. Now we're finished on Revit and we can send this to Twinmotion. So before we do that, we need to make sure that this is under fine. Uh, we can leave it like this under realistic and then make sure to save it first and we go to the twin motion plugin and then see in twin motion let it synchronize and let it do its thing and then we're going to come back so once it's done um, click on continue with 2022 I know there's 2023 um, twin motion now, but I'm still working. Uh, I'm still using 2022 because the layout and the way you send your file to twin motion is different on that. So I'm still using this. I'm sure I need to use it in the future anyway. So, and then you click on ex existing or sorry, a uh, new project once it's ask you so select that again and then it's synchronizing I just have to click see in twin motion again in order for me to see our model and there we go we have our model set up here and what we need to do now is we need to save this file first so go to file save as so here i'm just typing the name then twin hortons and then saving it you want to make sure to save this because you never know if anything um, goes bad so now um, what we can do is go to file and we need to sign into Epic Games in order for us to see uh, to use some of the mega scan features like the pixel mega scans so now um, what we can do is we could set up the materials first so select that set the glass and add the glass right here I'm gonna put the opacity up to 50 and then put it in the middle like that and then after this I'm gonna make sure that this one is aluminum reflection maybe around 35 that's good enough and then we're good with the glass um, we could make this one more reflective in terms of color and then opacity around 50 in terms of materials let's go to brick I'm gonna use the brick uh, I'm planning to use something like this brick onto this side so a little bit dark and then around around two scale that's good enough and then here um, I'm planning to add stone right here and I see that this is the same thing almost the same thing as what we have I'm going to use this one. Scale it a bit. I'm going to scale it to 3. And then that looks good. <clears throat> In terms of here, I want siding. So I know we have something here. Not the tiles, but uh, I know we have something right here. 
I'm going to check so wood siding I'm going to use this instead and this looks similar to what I'm seeing but we need to change it to red something like that and then let's change the scale to a bigger one we might change this um, wood siding because it doesn't look it does look the same but I think we could do better and then this one I believe it shouldn't be like that it should be this one and then here we might go to Quixel Mega Scan, I think surfaces, wood, and then we have blank. And then let's look at this one. Uh, this one doesn't look good. So there's a big chance that we're just going to use something like this. I believe in concrete, we have something like that. But let's leave it like that for now. Um, what I can do is we could we have something like this with metal. Something like this, aluminum siding. Let's see how it looks. Something like this is similar to that. And then of course, we're going to change it. We're not gonna make it reflective and then the color will be changed. But now it's too much. Think that's good enough I want to lessen the reddish color and reflectiveness needs to go down a little bit and then now here we need to change this Color. I'm going to use plastic and then this glossy one because most of the time these are yeah something like this red yeah that's perfect and then we have metal here we are, we're gonna set the metal there and then here uh, this plastic we need to change it again to brown <clears throat> something light like that I think that's good enough and then here I don't want this to be like chrome looking too much yeah still chrome so we need maybe a brush aluminum <coughs> instead and then all of this will be just painted walled color gray so something like a wall covering we could make it satin and then gray and then this one satin again but darker gray so I'm just looking at the picture that I have here and I'm just basically comparing the look <coughs> that looks good I think I need to make this one a little bit bigger there we go
think that pen is good and then this one should be brown so let's go to a metal and then matte chrome but a brownish like that and then go make it reflective so around 20 is good enough and then let's change it a bit make it light so that it's not overpowering and that will be the same materials for this and then here as well and the only thing that i have a problem with is the material that we're going to use here so here make sure this one is metal um, let's make this gray we can make this actually black i think it will look much better now we need to find something like a stripe material so let's look for material fabric and then some fabric if not we're just going to put something like this <laughs> or whatever we need something like this but change orientation to 90 then of course the color should be red something like this so it's kind of it kind of look perfect Kind of look the same, but it it it's not. So we'll look at that. So let's leave it this one for now, like this. Um, maybe we have it in Quixel. Um, the thing is, uh, I rather look for it than create. We have this pattern right here that we might be able to to see but that one is just I'm gonna snip it it's just like this so it will look like this should be but let's see how we can see something like that under pattern fabric this one looks good carpet but this one is good enough for me I'll be okay having that one and we have something like a tarp plain So yeah, maybe leather, not leather. So I think uh, this one is good enough. We have the pattern there. We shouldn't have this one, but it should be just a plain red and brown. But I'm happy with that anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the concrete now. So let's choose a proper concrete or let's go to ground man-made. And I'm going to put this one, concrete road, this one, concrete road three or one. Let's put one instead. 
and good thing that this one uh, we need to lower this and I'm checking this one aluminum siding I think we need to change the material for this and then lower this so we need to go back so save this first go back to Revit select all of this select all instant visible and it needs to be negative 200 and then here because I think we put parking stripe here we need to change this one so for the pavement it needs to be a different material so edit family parking stripe shouldn't be parking stripe let's just put I'm going to duplicate this duplicate material parking stripe there so now let's load this don't save it override version and then we still have the same one like that but we can change it now so save and then how about the bollards what kind of materials did we use here okay painted yellow that's fine so save it again send it back to twin motion and this one will be able to just choose a paint material as well something like this and then reflectiveness put it up a little bit because those ones are shiny and this one those that are right here that disappeared select visible in a view post should be ground floor but I'm seeing that it's not here post should be different for this three pick new host or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it zero for that three. I think doing that because they have a different code that's why. As you can see, floor number four. And then here it should be ground floor. So save it again and see into a motion. And then it there we go. That fixes everything. And then this one it needs to be going down I forgot about this one so some something that we need to change here it needs to be ground zero zero and then here as well zero as well so at least we're seeing all those things that we need to change and you'll be able to change it like that so here what we need to do is we're just going to put aluminum there make it consistent what we have so like this one should be should be black Metal is on reflective. I think that's good enough. Then we have this and all of this. And let's not forget to set the settings so light. 
uh, before this one camera first visual sorry um, we need to we need to turn this on make sure you turn this on that's very important lighting this one I need to change this to background backdrop HDR or skylight HDR let's look at it like that and see um, if we should change it <coughs> I believe we should um, inst instead of um, we could do outdoor as well and then in the sky as well um, so there's a big chance that we're just going to change one of this overcast and change all of this cloudy let's put cloudy and I believe I have this one already but for some reason I need to fix the preferences and then custom path and then I know we have user library so here cloud library needs to be document with motion materials so Megasun with motion cloud library shouldn't be in twin motion right here it needs to be so cloud library select folder Quixel library so mega scan how come it's right here I don't have it here. So something to look at after. So we're gonna fill this up for sure. Um, uh, we could start off by adding some cars. Then I'm gonna add cars right here. Cars right there. And then I'm gonna fill it up with cars for sure so that it will look like it's packed and then I'm gonna flip it And then we will continue on the next video. So thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.